Hey guys, IHFC101 here yet again, bringing you episode number 41 of my Football Manager 2011 Complete Ipswich Town playthrough. And this episode's a big game, it's the Derby at home to Norwich. We won the away game, and then um, we've got Olivier Capo back in, I think. I think we have. Um, if we haven't, it's Drury again. It was touch and go on Capo, so I didn't know whether I played him, I can't remember. But anyway, this is, even though it's a big game, it's going to be a sad game because I'm sorry to inform you, this is going to be the last full length match of this series. I know in the past I've done like 40 episodes of full match episodes, but I think that takes, I think it's, it takes too long to do. I mean, the one episode every few days, it doesn't make for a long series. So, um, you saw my last video, I did a highlights video. And that is going to be the basis of most of of the videos coming for Football Manager 2012. Um, I'll be doing like highlight videos for like four or five games, and then a full length match, and then video highlights, you know, stuff like that. So every now and then I'll bring you um, bring you a full length match. But I promise to bring you every single goal of the campaign. But the goal, what I'm um, trying to set myself is to get through a few seasons through Football Manager 2012. That's the thing I'm aiming for. Um, I'm going to do two playthroughs in Football Manager 2012. I'm going to do my regular Ipswich Town playthrough. And I'm going to do an AFC Wimbledon playthrough. Mainly because a couple of subscribers asked for that. And also, um, they're a new team. You know, they were formed in 2002. And I think it would be quite interesting to see what history we can make with the club. And um, I've already started recording now. I've got one or two games recorded. And I, l I really do like the look of my squad. So look forward to that in the next couple of weeks because um, the game is out next week actually so I'll be pumping out material um, and content from for that for both playthroughs it picks town and AFC Wimbledon and so I'm hoping to get this wrapped up in, an, in a few episodes if I this will be the last full game and then I think we have eight more games to go and that will be two more episodes of four highlights each unless we have the playoffs then that will be something extra but that's the plan for this series but um it's been a, so much fun doing this series. I hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed doing it. But it's it's kind of, kind of coming to the end. It's not the end yet because we've got a couple of highlight videos. But this is the last full game of the series. But in this game, um, of course, we're playing Norwich. It's an important game. and We're 1-0 down at the moment. So it wasn't the best of starts. Um, but in a derby, your players are always going to be pumped up for it. Your fans are going to be pumped up for it. So you, you really should look to win derbies as they... They're more important than most games, especially for the fans and the motivation. But anyway, in this episode I'm going to talk about my trip to Cardiff. I'm recording this on the 17th of October, which is the Monday. And on the Saturday, Ipswich played Cardiff at the Cardiff City Stadium. And of course, being an Ipswich fan, that is a very long journey. We left at 7 in the morning, seven half 7 in the morning. And it was a long day, but we got a decent result. We got a 2-2 draw, even though we were the better side, in my opinion. Um, Jason Scotland and Chopper scored for us. They got a ridiculous penalty, absolutely ridiculous penalty. If if that's a penalty, I might as well stop supporting, what stop watching football because it was an absolute joke. But we got a decent point. Um, they're the kind of ground you need to go to get points. I mean, we've won at West Ham this season. We've got a point at Middlesbrough this season. Now we've got a point at Cardiff. These points probably will be bonuses when you think about it. If we just keep winning our home games, then these points are going to come in massive for us towards the end of the season. But um, it was a really nice stadium. I'll do my stadium guide. Haven't done one since Blackpool because I haven't been to a, been to one in a while, mainly because of university, which is going good. But um, the stadium was a very nice stadium because it's, bra it's pretty new, it's three or four years old. Um, the concourses were huge. The toilets were fantastic. Um, there are betting facilities. The eating facilities looked decent. Um, the seats were. They're pretty unique seats, but they're pretty good. They're good on the back. Um, the away fans are put in the corner, um, behind a corner flag. With, um, there's only like 400 Ipswich fans there, which you'd expect for such a long journey. So um, there's a lot of spare seats in the Ipswich bit. But the atmosphere was all right from us. We did good. The Garda fans were a bit quieter than I expected. When they got going, they were pretty loud, which is good for them. But it took a goal to get them going. But when we were on top, they were pretty quiet. But um, when it was 2-2 after the joke of the penalty, there's only going to be one winner. And uh, and David Stockdale is such a good keeper. I think he could be an England national now. Um, I think he could easily push Joe Hart, but that's just me. Maybe I'm a bit biased, but he made a couple of world-class saves to keep us in the match. But overall, I was happy with the point. 
and the stadium guide, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. I can't remember. If I gave Cardiff an 8 out of 10, I'm going to have to put Blackpool down to like a 4 out of 10. Because Cardiff was a really nice stadium. I've been to both Welsh League clubs now, and there's similarities between them, but I definitely prefer Cardiff Stadium. It just looks nicer, and um, it just feels more like an atmospheric stadium. So that's probably one of the best grounds I've been to in a while. Of course, there's going in the Emirates and Chelsea, which I went to last season in the cup competitions. But it's a really nice stadium, and I'll definitely look to go there again. Um, maybe next season if none of us get up or both of us get up, something like that. So I'll definitely look to go back there next season. Um, Ipswich next play on Tuesday, which is tomorrow as I'm recording this. I don't know when I'll upload this. This might be uploaded after the Portsmouth match. Um, but that should be, um, that should be a, a... I would like to say a win, but you never know with us against the smaller clubs. They've just lost their manager. Cottle's gone to Nottingham Forest. We've got David Niles coming back to Portman Road, so he'll definitely be up for that. I'm not sure what reception he'll get from the fans. I'm really not sure. But I liked him when he was here, but he was a bit he was a bit naughty. He lied to the fans. He lied to the manager, saying that he hadn't spoke to Cottrell when he, in fact, had. So that was really disappointing on his part. I thought he was a pretty good player. But we've got a top-quality midfield now with Bullard, Andrews, Bowyer and Ledbetter. So hopefully we... Will be good to go this season. Everything's looking up. I mean, we should have easily have won that against Cardiff, which would have been another fantastic way performance. But we've got two home games coming up now against Portsmouth and Crystal Palace. And if we can get six points out of them, that would be brilliant. After then, we've got a trip to Millwall, which is also winnable, and then at home to Doncaster. So if we could win the next... I know it's a lot, asking a lot, but to win the next four would be brilliant. But I'll take three home wins against Portsmouth, Palace and Doncaster and a draw against Millwall. So 10 points out of that 12 would leave us in fantastic shape going into the going into November. And then, of course, you've got December and the Christmas period will tell you a lot about your side, where you are. But we've still got a way to go before that. And I will be attending the Millwall game. I've already got the tickets, so um, I'll bring you some pictures and a review of that as well. Um, hopefully I won't get killed, but <laughs> um, nah, that should be fine. But... Um, yeah, I've, at the end of this video, I've got pictures from Cardiff. I think I've got about 20 pictures, some pretty cool ones, um, just of the outside of the ground and the inside and the players coming out. You know, my my usual stuff. And so, yeah, Cardiff was a really good day out. We got home really quickly, which is surprising. I was home in time for match of the day, which is fantastic. Um, but, yeah, as always, it's the, it's the difficult thing about being a Nipswich fan. It's just the insane amount of travelling you have to do. Now that Norwich aren't in our division, the lit, there's literally no one closer than two hours away i think peterborough's about two hours away i've been to peterborough before i think it was about two hours and then you've got the london clubs but then everyone else you've got loads of clubs in yorkshire you've got wales you've got the south coast you've got the northeast just everywhere <laughs> and they're such long trips but that's my trip to cardiff and really nice stadium if you ever ever thinking of going there to support your team i definitely recommend it it's a really nice stadium but um Come to the end of this episode, guys. Um, the last full match of um, episode of Foot Minor 2011. I know, don't cry. It's sad, I know. We'll miss it, but I trust you. You will see every goal of the remaining of this series and the remain and the whole of Football Manager 2012. It's going to take a lot of effort. These are really easy to make. These um, Football Manager, the full matches. You just put all the files in. You commentate over it. But with them. Um, with the highlights it's going to take a lot of editing and stuff like that so it's going to take a huge amount of effort but i'm going to do it um so i'll see you got final score Ipswich town two norwich one so another derby win we've got the double over norwich which is absolutely fantastic and i'll leave you guys with some pictures from the 2-2 draw against cardiff later guys <laughs>